Oh, let's watch the Keemstar one. We've waited. Okay, now we're at the end. Everybody knows what we're here to do. So Keemstar is butthurt that Ninja uh, took his uh, G Fuel flavor. Cotton candy. As you guys know, G Fuel and Keemstar parted ways, which was tragic and horrible. The first time anyone's ever talked to a sponsor, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And uh, no, you started that whole trend, you monster. I still feel like that whole thing was silly. So silly. Nobody's ever lost a sponsor because of shitty things that they've done until you broke the seal. Well, what was so funny is like him and a lot of channels, so many channels were defending him just for that. So fucking dumb. Even like, I'll say, even Critical made a video being like, Ethan fucked up. She shouldn't have done that. I love Critical. But I was just, my point is that, like, that was an opinion that was echoed throughout the YouTube space. And they're like, YouTube is going to change forever now. When creators get in beef, they're going to call out each other's sponsors. And Ethan's opened a can of worms, and it's never going to be the same. Fast forward, like, three years, nothing fucking changed. Nothing changed. Because it already was... It was already like that, obviously. And always has been. Nothing you fucking didn't... changed. <laughs> like... I didn't ruin YouTube. See you guys three years later. We're all still here. We're doing fine. It's like, God, it's so annoying how they, I feel like they all missed the fucking point. But anyway, whatever. Uh, and I feel like I barely called out the G Fuel thing too. I thought it was just funny. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. But okay, whatever. So he lost his G Fuel sponsorship. Some would say because of me. He would. He would definitely. And he had the, I guess, highly coveted cotton candy flavor. Mm. Now, what does oh, it mean yeah. that that's his flavor, Love? You probably have an insight on this. Was that his yeah. idea, or did they give him the cotton candy flavor? Right. So as a G Fuel connoisseur, I can answer this. Uh, <laughs> so every creator gets to, like, the G Fuel pitches a couple of flavors, and they get, get to pick it. And I guess Keemstar picked the cotton candy. Uh, I actually have it right here. The old OG one. And it's honestly my favorite, so I'm very glad it's back. That's what I hear is everybody Yay. loves the cotton candy. So yeah. I have a feeling that Keemstar was making quite a bit of money. Certainly. From that yeah. cotton candy one. Yeah. But Keem, even if I even if that never happened, I mean, let's be honest, the ninja is gonna make them a lot more money than you. I mean. Hold on, so, Zach. Uh, you, you're you're you don't Heck. deserve the cotton candy one anymore. Oh, yes, we Ken. have to. He keeps playing that sound, but there's no context. What is that's that? That's the though? point, dude. That's we supposed to grow, it. man. It's a crime. It's a little to not show this video. It's a little inside joke we have around the office about Ninja. We all stand Ninja. Oh, oh. Ninja. Yeah. 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 Well, I, guess it, I think it's time for for y'all to come out of the Ninja closet right now. This office Nina. is full of of Ninja stands. Since, I love Ninja. Since yeah, I've got love, the link here. Since Love came to town. Yeah, so Cam, so Cam made this. What is he freaking out about? He, uh, he's, he's, <laughs> it's promo for his master class. And what? Uh, uh, BL streamer. Being a streamer. Yeah. Yeah. Being a streamer. Yeah. Being the best that ever did it. Yeah, Nino the goat. So, <laughs> it just lubes. But it's what, been... what, 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 what is, what preceded this? Or, <laughs> I need the context of this. I'll get the actual context. Yeah, I just want to see. It, it's I've just heard... a, he was just excited, like... <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> like, I don't even know. <laughs> but ever since Love came to town in the States and he, like, expressed his love for Nina, that's all we talk about is Nina, and <laughs> we don't even say Ninja, we just say Nina. Nina. So, El Nina. Nina, yeah. That's how Love says it. So it's like... It's... Fucking A Ian, Sam, A B, like everyone just stands Ninja. Okay, we get together. Ninja. Yeah. We get together in Fortnite and we all put on the ninja skin it's and awesome. then you know <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's rough. Wait, Early can you talk in game in Fortnite? <laughs> yeah. So you guys should just dress as ninja and just make this sound effect. Just well, loop it. Can other players hear you? No, they yeah. can't hear you. Just oh, oh. you can only but imagine at them, yeah. That's sad. They don't imagine let me play with them killed. anymore because I didn't get the skin in time. I did love that about PUBG where you could talk to oh, yeah, everyone yeah. around you. That was Pretty awesome. Epic. Dan, th uh, maybe I won't out Dan for this. I what? Know. That I'm not a ninja? I'm I'm the I'm the whole dad here. I don't even play Fortnite and I stand Nina. Um, 
but Dan just I don't know he's not a Fortnite guy. Dan Nina Dan what the fuck hater hater ass fucking I, I, wanna sh- I don't have any problem with Nina I have a problem with Fortnite it's a little baby game for okay. older oh, children oh my god I, so, I want to show us a, a thing oh is this com- speaking of, comment speaking of G Fuel his pin tweet still to this day wait this is Keemstar's pin tweet oh, or no, comment no, cop? cops yeah oh this was okay <laughs> if this is what I think it is this is this is one of the great uh, videos. And another thing you did in this video is an absolute first for YouTube. You went after my sponsors. You went after my sponsors. Today we're going to be looking at Soar Gaming. Now Soar Gaming Wait, isn't is there a like channel crazy here with slurs in this video? Pause it. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's right. Well, <laughs> don't play this. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll play up to. But you guys get what well, you guys get worse. He says the unalive word. Uh, well, he, he says the he's racial he slurs. Actual, yeah, he's, he's the F slur a bunch. Yeah. The N word. Yes, no, I don't. I, that's not something Nina would never do, man. Hell no. We stand Nina, right, love? <laughs> yeah, I want to show something though, if you guys don't mind. Check this out. What do you got? The doc? Oh, is that the, what is the cake? Tumblers? Dude. Yeah, shaker. But this is a the rare shaker. one because when you flip oh, the that's image, a rare shaker. look at this. Look at this. Read uh-huh. the doc. Right. Boom. What does it say now? Dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, does he know it says that? No, it's not on purpose. It's an accident. Oh, that is awesome. Funny. It says funny. dog shit. <laughs> How did you discover yeah. that? Uh, I think like it went viral, and I well, I have that. And Dude, I've that's tried so it awesome. Until now. It says uh, dog yeah. shit straight up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, what was I talking about? I closed my browser. Oh, yeah, Keemstar being a fucking baby. So... Anyway, he's mad at Ninja because right. he got Ninja. the cotton candy flavor, and he's he's mad because Ninja uh, didn't tell him beforehand because he thinks they're friends. Keemstar, I think, because he's an orphan, he has like deep abandonment issues. I'm just assume, I'm just making educated guess here, right? Which is why he gets so. I think I'm really identify the issue. Which is why he gets so crazy when he sp- perceives people as like backstabbing or leaving him or going behind his back. Because he was abandoned by his parents. Where's your daddy? When someone like me leaves oh. a comment like, um, where's your daddy? <laughs> uh, he doesn't know, probably. Probably doesn't know where he is. But um, he probably has abandonment issues, right? So when I, someone like me leaves a comment like, oh, yeah, I know you guys don't like Keemstar. I don't either. He freaks out because he perceives that as, oh, he's going to leave me. He's going to backstab me. And it's actually really sad because I think it really goes to a really unfortunate, deep-seated trauma, which I get. You know, I mean, the, 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 I, I really do sympathize with that experience of his because, I mean, that's just so sad and horrible and so i think that's what happened with ninja that ninja didn't grovel to keemstar for the cotton candy flavor he has a total meltdown watch this everybody agrees with me right ninja steal my flavor <laughs> he's a rap for that <laughs> but to the few yep, people that are thinking definitely I'm being everyone petty, i get it uh, right you're, you're... now just to remind you this his g- partnership with g fuel ended like three years ago yes and so ninja gets his flavor three years ago and this motherfucker, after three years, is now like, this is my flavor. You should have kissed the ring. I mean, it's nuts. Everybody agrees with me. Two years. Right. Ninja steal my flavor. He's a rat for that. But to the few people that are thinking I'm being petty, I get it. Right. You're, you're right to look at this on a surface level and be like, Keemstar is just being petty. I get it. You're right. But you don't have the context. All right. I've been friends with this dude since 2017. Every time he's in drama, every time the Internet is mean to him. And over the top, not being fair to him, I stick up for the fucking dude. Uh, I love when Keemstar admits to shit like that. Which is what I've always said about him, which is why I've always thought he's a piece of shit. Is because if he doesn't like you, he'll lie, he'll slander, he'll try to ruin your life. I mean, really make your life hell. And if he's friends with you, he won't report anything bad that's going on. And like, he's news. I mean, it's just... it's. It's just disgusting behavior, and it's, he's always been like that. Uh, he's been on my podcast. So he's like, I, I, do, I didn't report when, when bad things happened to you, and you fucking owe me. I'm still not even sure why he's mad. It's been two years, bro. Two years. 
Well, let's hear him out because apparently everyone agrees with him. Everyone. So he might have a good point here. All right, I'll stop pausing. Yeah. As I, you know, me and Banks, bought him this like, huge... <laughs> I don't know. I've been tight with Ninja forever. The fact that, you know, he goes to G Fuel and says, I want cotton candy because, like, look, look, the manager, his wife and him are looking at this and they're like, okay, what flavor should we do? What makes business sense? And because my fans have been asking for my flavor to return cotton candy forever, they're like, okay, let's just take Keem's. Now, wait, if, did they discontinue cotton candy, love? Once he got- Yeah, when he got- uh, Oh, they stopped yep. selling the flavor. Yeah, that's why this is very, very rare right here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so there's been a cotton candy shortage. Yes. So oh, they yeah. brought it back with Ninja, basically. Mm -hmm. They That's didn't gonna even go bring back the full version. It's a variation. Oh, so it's not even the, exactly the same flavor? Right, look. They brought back the cans, uh, not the actual powder. Which they're selling in Walmart. Yeah, yeah I gotta say, Walmart. I, I've never wanted a drink more in my life. <laughs> and <laughs> I called like five Walmarts yesterday. He's not goofing, he really No, is. No one could help me. Ninja. We're all in the Blevins Brotherhood here. Mm -hmm. Like, this has to be more accessible. Mimia. Was it sold it? out or did they not get it yet? None of them had it. Yeah. He was, he was working those phones. We gotta roll yeah, those right. out, man. Yeah. This could be a huge partnership. Ninja X G Fuel Cotton Candy right. in every Walmart. I, we could be sipping them right now. Yeah. And it's a shame we're not. It's a fucking travesty. You know, it's a real travesty. That we didn't reach out to G Fuel and get the cotton candy flavor. Now that well, to be honest, right after Keem got dropped, I did reach out to G Fuel for a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny is they were oh they've God. been hitting me up basically my whole time on YouTube. Uh -huh. And I just thought it was so weird to partner with G Fuel. Like I was like, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, maybe I, sh I probably should have. Uh, They're popular. Talk to them, but I w always thought it was just kind of odd. And I don't really drink that stuff, so I don't know. Climb kiwi flavor. Ooh, Ooh kiwi climb. Kiwi. kiwi climb. That's pretty good. Yeah, but after this happened, I was like, "Yo, let's partner up now." <laughs> like maybe, maybe not yet. Yeah, yeah. But maybe we should reach out again. It's been a while. To get that climb kiwi going. That'd be so awesome, dude. Just, we could probably still get the, the powder version. Oh right, there. What AB? I said you just fed the drama channels. I'm curious of the thumbnails. Wait, what did I say? By saying that you reached out to G Fuel after. Team Star you think so? Oh, we talked about sure. Trisha. Who cares about G Fuel? Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. <Team Star's laughs> they already have their, their yeah, highlights. I mean, yeah. Nobody pays attention. Look, I'm, I'm excited to try this Klein Kiwi. I think it'll be good. Wait, how did I contact them before? Hold on, let me write an email. We gotta get we gotta get on this G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Are we dead set on Kiwi? No, no I just no, I was no, just coming just, up with names. Yeah, ah, yeah. I see. Strawberry Kiwi. Why well, you got a different idea? Uh Key Lime I'm thinking key about it. Klein Pie. H Klein Pie. Flavor? T flavor? G fuel? Interesting. Here, I think she's asking, is G fuel even good? It depends on how you ask. If you ask Love, he'll say absolutely. Love like loves that he shit. only lives on G fuel. I tried it when he was out here. He he hooked us up with some and um it was one of the sweetest drinks I've ever tasted <laughs> in my life. It was, it no was really sweet. It was very fucking sweet. It's gamer fuel, bro. You don't Love got me hooked. Hook. I was, uh, it's a little too sweet for me, but I understand why uh, people like Is it. Is there no sugar in it, love? Yeah, no sugar. <gasps> Ethan raspberry, somebody suggested. <gasps> I like that. Ethan raspberry. I'm Ethan raspberry. Love was my <laughs> G Fuel sommelier when we were living together. <laughs> he, he showed me the perfect amount of uh, right. ice cube to put in it. Yeah, yeah. The right amount to mix. He was the best. You think Mark no. knows shit. Love about G Fuel? Yeah. He is uh -oh. the man. What is Who's that? The sommelier. Yeah. Uh -oh. Phase up. Oh. <laughs> Phase up. Ethan Klein's Fika Lime Pesto. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I just wrote an email that we're very, we're very passionate about G Fuel and want to get it going. We could sell a lot of G Fuel. Yeah. I'll move G Fuel like they never fucking seen. <laughs> Would you want to be, be in a, so a Walmart with it, like Nina, or like just an online exclusive? I'm direct to consumer. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Did you ever, did you ever see Keemstar's G Fuel commercial? Oh yeah, where yeah, we, he made like, a, we made a parody. He went to the <laughs> carnival and yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did a funny edit of it back in the day. Yeah. One of my greatest songs, I feel. Keemstar Nibble on Your Cheese. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. Right, right. Only recently surpassed by 
holding my burden, <laughs> holding my burden. I love that. That that was a bop. I, I was couldn't singing stop that. singing it all <laughs> afternoon. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Here, play that as we watch Game Stars. Do you feel yeah. that? Yeah. Holding my fart in. <laughs> I can rip my jeans today. Uh, Ninja should take this and just put his face over uh, Game Stars. The whole video. Holding my fart in. <laughs> Keemstar would go to a carnival by himself. I know, this is so sad. Dude, this is some sad ass shit, bro. <laughs> you don't have one damn friend. Yeah. Uh, it works so good. Uh, good. Let's get it. What cam? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Try that again? Say, every time I talk, I, I have to rip my earbuds out because there's a little delay. <laughs> and it it fucks with my cheek. Were you gonna say something though? It, the song just works so good. Oh yeah, it does, it does. If you go to carnivals by yourself, shrink. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was daydreaming the whole thing. I guess that's the concept. But it wasn't that. You don't need to daydream going on carnival, right? I mean, he was already there. It's not like a dream. Yeah, you're literally there. Just go. Just go do the things that you're fantasizing about. Yeah, that was a huge loss for Kim. The cotton candy thing was big. Here, he'll continue. If Ninja would have came to me and said, Kim, can I bring cotton candy back? I'd be. Bro, it's been two fucking years. And it doesn't fucking belong to you. It, it, yeah, it's G Fuel's flavor, dumbass. You didn't <laughs> make it, you <laughs> stupid ass. This is so weird. <laughs> to even put this video out is so unhinged. Like, yes, you have my blessing. You're my homie. Go ahead. Rock it. Rock it. Like, that he would have the full blessings. But that's he the- doesn't need to kiss your ring. What don't you understand? Golly, man. Like he wouldn't, why would he even think to ask that? Totally. After two years? Yeah. Or even, even not. It's like, I mean, I don't, need the, I don't know the logistics of how it even happened. They were probably like, yo, do you want, here's options of flavors, like what Love said. And he's like, cotton candy. <laughs> what do we think? Well, doesn't he say at the end of the video that Jessica reached out? Let's let's keep watching. That's not what happened, okay? Ninja didn't say shit to me. His wife contacts me and says, "Hey, we just want to let you know that uh, we're we're launching a, a cotton candy can." All right. That was actually really thoughtful. I think that they gave him a heads up. Yeah, and it's not just yeah, his but wife; he... it's his manager, right? Right. She she's he's offended. Ninja himself didn't. Yeah. Oh, Ninja's wife. Yeah. She's a woman. You send your little messenger. <laughs> That's awesome. Didn't say shit to me. His wife contacts me and says, hey, we just want to let you know that uh, we're, we're launching a, a cotton candy can. So they did let you know. Like, what the fuck do yeah. you want? They literally told you ahead of time, <laughs> which was way more than you deserved. All right. Yeah, they gave him a heads she up, but didn't ask permission again to sell a product that he does not own. Two years after he got dropped. <laughs> Two years dropped. after he got dropped. What is he, the fucking Don or something? Yeah. Like, he thinks, he really thinks he is. She didn't fucking ask for my blessing. She didn't ask for shit. You come to me on the day that I lost my final hair. <laughs> and you, you, you don't ask for my permission to sell the cotton candy. I sit here bald before you. With the bandana tightly fastened on my head. I'm losing oxygen to my brain from the bandana tied so so tightly. And you have the balls to send a woman to your tell me. You send your brother's wife to me? You send you send, <laughs> you send your brawless wife? And when she came, she was wearing a bra. If you're gonna send your wife to me, make sure she's not wearing a bra. <laughs> and make sure she bring a sandwich too. Show me some respect. I shouldn't have to ask for the sandwich. It should be unasked for. You broke my heart. Ninja, you break my heart. The cotton candy flavor. It's my flavor. <laughs> I know it was you, Fredo. And how dare you send a woman 
Be man enough to tell me yourself. I, Keemstar, I'm taking the cotton candy flavor. Just like I took the Teddy Fresh. (laughs) (laughs) And I sit here before you, and you've got this long, beautiful blue hair. I have not even a single hair on my head, Ninja. And you disrespect me. (laughs) So... <laughs> what was that? That was, what was that? that was it was bald, ball. They were yeah. chanting bald, bald. Uh, <laughs> What's that from? SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Play it again. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, that's interesting. Did you pull that just for that image? Uh, I I forgot what else we were talking about, but uh, I don't know. I felt like it could be funny. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so anyway. She just fucking told me that they're doing it, right? This is like weeks before it was announced. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna fucking say something. That that's not fucking cool. I'm gonna fucking say something. So I'm like, you know what? I let it I I, I calm down for a little bit. I talked to many other fucking creators about the situation. Yo, I was so heated up, I had to calm down, talk to a bunch of creators. I was having a total bitch fit. I was on a podcast with twelve views asking all those creators. <laughs> they all agreed with me as usual. Everyone agrees with me. Literally everyone oh. I talked to, who they owe, everyone who owes their whole career to me agreed. <laughs> You're in trouble. That G Fuel shit. <laughs> that, was, that was good. It sounded just like him. Everybody agrees he's a rat for it. And I'm like, you know what? Let <laughs> me talk to Ninja himself. So I call this dude multiple times, no answer. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ghosted by Ninja. <laughs> You know what's the truth, Team Star? That I, I called him, man. He's not answering. Nobody takes my calls. It's so weird. You know what's the the, the uncomfortable truth, Team Star, is that that I think you're you're afraid to confront the truth that you really lost all your clout. I think he is fangless and toothless, and not many people watch Drama Alert anymore. And I don't think Ninja has the time to or the interest. Uh, to answer a call from Keemstar, I mean, there's literally no incentive for him to well, pick up Well, probably after his wife got bitched out by Keem. Yeah. While trying to do yeah. something that they totally didn't need to do, politely inform him, like he said, weeks before it was announced, that, hey, this thing is happening. Yeah. What, it, why it am I... not owe you anything. No. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, peop- I'm sorry, Keemstar, but I don't. I think the days of people answering your calls is is gone. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like I, I, I'm. So, I just I don't know. It's like Nina is like Vito Corleone, or Jessica's like Vito. Keem's more like a Fredo type. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he totally is. We gotta take him back on the on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a Fredo, and you know, you just I don't know. Nina's. He's the Don. Hey, be careful with the Fredo, though. That is Italia phobia. Oh, I, I did not mean uh, it that that's way. an offensive phrase. Forgive me, I did not mean it like yeah, that. Yeah. Roll that that's back. A slur. <laughs> Roll that. Back. Rolling it back did, did not mean not. in any way. I was just comparing to the movie. Yeah, I was making. And thank you for that. I'm sure everyone will appreciate that. That kind of just made me sad after rewatching that. I think Keem just needs like a Goodwill Hunting, like it's not your fault type hug. <laughs> it might. It needs a hug. Yeah, I actually agree. I, I, I in, in all honesty. Yeah. It's not your fault. His upbringing sounds like it was really difficult and... Yeah. Um, it's Keemstar's fault! No, it's not Keemstar's it's it's not not, fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's Keemstar's fault! It's not your fault. It's not your fault, Keemstar. It's not your fault. No, you're not listening, Keemstar. It's not your fault. Keemstar's fault! It's no, not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> No, but on the real, though, I, I feel like he really could benefit from therapy. I don't think he would ever pursue it. Well, we know not. He's stated his opinions no, on that it. very publicly. Yeah. Three sips of beer. That's all you need. But, he, you know, I, uh, I, feel, I do feel bad, you know. And kudos to him for bringing his or giving his girlfriend the childhood upbringing he never got, too, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true, you know? And it he, benefits both of them because now they get to... Uh, he has Abby. someone with him at the amusement park, so he's not alone anymore. <laughs> Say that, A.B.? 
I said it benefits both of them too because he's not alone at the amusement park. Right, anymore. right, right, right. They have that. Yeah, that's a really good point you make, Cameron. You know, he's paying it forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Cam really got me with that one. It's not your fault, Cam. I really, I actually do. I really do think so. Feed Star's fault. It's not, bro. It's not. It's not your fault. It's not, bro. It's really not. All this shit here. I love that scene, by the way. Goodwill and thinks such a great movie. Oh, one great. of the best. He goes, all this shit here, Will. I want you to know something. It's not, not your, your fault. fault. He goes, I know, I know. No. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> go ahead. Seth. Cut it out, man. Cut it out. It's not, not your you fault. Too. No, but go ahead with the the Keemstar one. Keemstar's yeah. fault. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're not listening. Uh, it actually is too real. It's too real. It's too on the nose. Yeah. Keep Star's fault. That's such a great sound bite. Holy fuck. It's not your fault. All right, let's. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck that blue-haired freak. I'm done. Whoa. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his greedy little fucking wife on everything. Why is he? I, he again, he goes after the his fuck? his wife. Greedy little wife. What did she do? It's not like did he said. It's not like he said greedy. He, he said, said greedy, greedy little greedy, wife. Yeah. Let me play again. Blue-haired freak. I'm done. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his greedy little fucking wife. What did he say? <laughs> it's not greedy. Hey, I don't yeah, know what, what word that is. Crazy? <laughs> did he say crazy? Cra crazy? Did okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's, let's listen carefully. I'm done. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his greedy little fucking wife. Grady? Is it just? It uh, sounds like Grady. What is Grady? It's not. It's Grady, right? Like it's Grady. He definitely said Grady, but maybe he meant to say Grady and just got tongue tied. Is he saying? Is, is it, it like grade Grade E? Grade E. Grade E. Yeah. Like, there, uh, on like a, a tier rated. chart, a low rated. Yeah. Look, to be to be, <laughs> there are examples of him mispronouncing words. Write him right on Dram alert. Dram alert. Dram alert. Homophobic. Ho homophobic. homophobic. Like a Romeo. <laughs> Juliet. Wait, so I'm seeing, I'm trying to look in the chat. People are saying Grady, but that that's not a word, is it? Grady. Everyone's saying Grady. I think he meant to say greedy. That's the only thing that makes sense. Gravy. Was he trying to combine crazy and greedy in a way? Maybe Grody. Grody. He's doing some like. Valley Girl slang. From it seems like nobody ago. in the chat knows what he said too, so it's not just us. Terrorist. I'm done. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his greedy little fucking. Wife. Grade E? Could he have said that? Grade E? It was, uh, would you say that? Oddly enough, I think he just misspoke. But if he did say something else, I think it would be Grade E. What the fuck? Because like he's yeah, he's rated. Girls She's not even pretty, dude. Kind of, yeah, Pokemon's a terrorist. Main. Sorry, it's a two out of ten according to him. That would be Pokemon. crazy if he said Grade E, but I feel like. There's a there's that's unlikely. He yeah. rates on a on a numerical chart though, not a uh, true uh, alphabet true. Uh, scale. So right. that would be inconsistent. I think with his I think the grades. Mm -hmm. the best theory I'm seeing is great crazy plus greedy. He got confused and combined them. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, though. maybe. And he just let it go. Freak, I'm done. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his greedy little fucking wife on everything. <laughs> When next time you guys are in trouble, don't ask for my help. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> Fuck off. It was so disrespectful to do it the way you did it. Yeah. B a a AKA, now when I report the news, I'm going to do everything in my life to just everything in my power to destroy your life. Number one news source on the internet. Yes. Number one trusted news in the world. We got your back, Nino. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just looking at his Twitter. Joe Biden is the worst president I've lived through. I mean, that's a bit facts. That's a bit hyperbolic. Sixty six percent agree. Everyone agrees. Well, how many has he lived through? Well, his uh, audience has only lived through Biden, so well he's lived through at <laughs> right. least like uh fifteen, right? Uh he would have been born during the Reagan era. Um so you know, you got Reagan, Bush, uh Clinton, second Bush, Obama, Trump. Well, what is he like fifty? Sixty. No, he's, 60. he's 40. 45, right? So there you go. I, I, I put it at the back of the show because, you know, whatever. But that there you have it. A little bit of a fun uh, Keemstar update for you guys. Very good, very good. And that's about it, isn't it? That's about it. We've been going 310 here. Look at them go. Let me see yes. love again. Yes. Let's go. 
You're a little delayed, love. You got to speed it yeah, up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Faster. Faster. There it is. <laughs> it's like double. Oh, there yeah. it there is. There it is. You're locked in. Yes. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. Yes. We love it. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh. Are you tired, love? <laughs> this oh my like god. Love. I look like love was making a noise. Uh, love, can you yawn it's again? It's hard. Huh? Yeah. Can you yawn like that again? Okay, give me a second. Oh. No, I'm yawning. Oh. 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 Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a fun episode, eh? Yeah, it was a good one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone.